gentlemen, greetings to you all. My name is Willy Wonka. You see, I'm something of a magician. The mysterious, masterful Chocolatier returns to the big screen with an origin story this time around. Paul King's directed Wonka, starring Timothy Chalamet as the title character, is a story of his young days before he became the chocolate-obsessed inventor we all know. It is also a different take on the character from his previous appearances, as this version of Willy Wonka takes a step back from being mysterious and cynical to swap those characteristics for being a lovable character who desires to spread joy to the world through his assorted treats. In this in this marvelous video, we do a deep dive into how the new Willy Wonka film ended and answer questions like, will it have a sequel? This is Wonka Ending Explained. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. For the past seven years traveling the world perfecting my craft. The story. After spending seven years on the ocean, a young Willy Wonka makes landfall in Europe with his overcoat, suitcase, and a hat full of dreams. Penniless and desperate after the first day itself, he seeks the kindness of Mrs. Scrobbit and Bleacher, who scam him into signing a contract he cannot read and trap him in their laundromat. There, he meets Noodle, a plucky orphan and her fellow outcast workers. He decides to form a ragtag team that hustles their way out of the laundromat to sell chocolate at the gallery gourmet. It goes fine until Willie has to face the wrath of the chocolate cartel, a trio of villains formed by the three biggest chocolate suppliers to the city, led by Arthur Slugworth, who is in cahoots with the police chief. Willie and his team managed for a while by escaping through manholes in the market, eventually making enough money to buy the shop Willie had always dreamt of owning. Their plans are met by a wedge in them when Slugworth bribes Mrs. Scrobbit to poison Willie's chocolate supply that makes his customers grow facial hair and change their skin color. Willie's shop is burned down, and he finally caves into the demands of the chocolate cartel, which are to leave the city and never make chocolate again, in exchange for all his friends' freedom from Mrs. Scrubbit's laundromat. Willie is sent out on a boat bound for the North Pole, which is rigged to blow as soon as it goes out to sea, when Willie suddenly has an epiphany and decides to jump off the boat and swim ashore. Willie realizes that R.T. Slugworth has the same ring with the indentations as the ring he saw Noodle carrying around her neck, making the connection that Noodle might be related to Slugworth. He returns to the city with a plan to dig up evidence regarding the chocolate cartel's evil deeds and expose them to the police. Their plans are once more set back as they get caught by the cartel who attempt to drown Willie and Noodle in a chocolate tank. They get saved by the Oompa Loompa Lofty who has been following Willie throughout as Willie owes him payback for stealing coffee beans from Loompa Land, which Lofty was supposedly guarding. Noodle and Willie expose the cartel for their crimes and Willie goes on to open his chocolate factory and offers Lofty to join him in his ventures. Are the fiercest of rivals, and yet we agree on one thing a good chocolate should be simple. Meet the new Willy Wonka. The character of the magnificent chocolate factory owner Willy Wonka has been brought to life for the third time by Timothy Chalamet in Wonka after the character's first appearance in Roald Dahl's book Charlie and the Chocolate Factory in 1964. This role was previously realized by Gene Wilder in the 1971 film Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory and then again by Johnny Depp in the 2005 film which shares the name with the 1964 book. The Gene Wilder version of the character made Willy Wonka be known for his mysterious and reclusive nature, following the lines of the original book. Johnny Depp also plays the character with a cynical edge well known to Wonka fans, although his character goes on to an arch discovering the importance of family, whereas Chalamet's portrayal of Wonka paints him in a more positive light, with a childlike innocence to the character. Willie's dream is to make and sell chocolate to the world, drawing direct inspiration from his long-lost mother. Existing only in his memories now, she is the main drive of his motivation, as Willie's mother promised him that she would be by his side when he finally shares his chocolate with the world, and he believes she will. Willie is met with some adversities in his journey, but he also makes some friends along the way who become his found family, whom he seeks to protect. He promises to change each of their lives by making chocolate and buying their freedom back from enslavement in the laundromat. He also meets an Oompa Loompa who keeps stealing his candy, but Willie's heart of gold turns a foe into a friend who not only inspires Willie to fight back against the chocolate cartel, 
hotel but also saves Willie and Noodle from drowning in that chocolate tank. Besides being an innovative inventor, this version of Wonka is also an avid magician, which allows the audience to witness a ton of spectacular visuals that are not short of real magic. All in all, this version of Willy Wonka definitely takes a departure from the original mysterious shades of the character. However, retaining the signature top hat along with the self-standing cane and of course the groundbreaking intellect when it comes to making chocolate. Huh? Huh. Double hug. Get a pencil and paper. Uh-huh. Noodle. Willie meets an orphan girl at Mrs. Scrubbit's hotel, who warns him to read the fine print before signing her contract. But being unable to read the English language at all, Willie signs it anyway and gets stuck working for Mrs. Scrubbit in her laundromat. Later, she helps Willie sneak out of the laundromat so he can sell chocolate outside, against the promise that the earnings will be split between the both of them to work off Mrs. Scrubbit's debt. She teaches Willie to read and quickly becomes his confidant, serving as a sidekick in his crusades, even buying the empty shop in the gallery Willie always dreamt of owning. When Willie makes a deal with Slugworth to pay off Mrs. Scrubbit's death owed by all his friends, Slugworth pays a little extra to make sure Noodle stays imprisoned for good. Willie, who suspected artist Slugworth might be related to Noodle, finds out that he's actually her father's brother who left her in the laundry bin as a baby. When Noodle's mother turns to her late husband's brother to aid her with money for treating Noodle's illness, Slugworth gets rid of the baby and lies to the mother that the baby had actually died. Willie discovers that Noodle's mother is still alive and helps them both reunite with each other. Willie and Noodle's friendship is fresh to this version and the story as she does not appear in any of the other films or the book. Portrayed by Kala Alain, Noodle is cynical in her observation of the world and is often surprised at Willie's innocence. She provides a good balance for Willie's childlike worldview and also proves herself to be the most fierce member of Willie's team on multiple occasions. Well, it's obviously something because you said, huh. Forget it. Very well. Oompa Loompa Doopy Doo Doo. Somebody keeps stealing Willie's supply of chocolate in the middle of the night. Determined to catch this thief, he sets up a contraption that traps a tiny orange skinned and green haired little man in a jar. To the great delight of the audience, an Oompa Loompa named Lofty is introduced. Played by Hugh Grant, Lofty has been sent away from Loompa Land as their last supply of cocoa beans was stolen under Lofty's supervision by none other than Willy Wonka. He is asked to leave Loompa Land and is not to return until the punishment has been paid a thousandfold. According to Loompa law, a crime should be met with a thousand times its punishment, which meant Lofty followed Willy everywhere until he stole enough chocolate from Willy to make up for the punishment. Eventually, Lofty ends up saving Willy from drowning in chocolate as there is one last jar left of his payback. At the end of the film, Willy opens a chocolate factory and offers Lofty a position as the head of the tasting department. Although appearing only briefly in the film, Lofty's introduction was a very welcome one, as the Oompa Loompas are a fan favorite from their previous appearances. Hugh Grant's portrayal of Lofty brings the signature cynicism of the Oompa Loompas along with his wittiness and their extreme pursuit of justice tending to Loompa law. He also moves the plot forward on multiple occasions, including when he convinces Willie to fight back against the chocolate cartel and not accept their deal. His characterization was much closer to the original characters, bringing the sort of extreme philosophy that Oompa Loompas stood by that justified punishing annoying children. Hugh also brings back the immense the popular and extremely catchy singing and dancing styles of the character, which are a treat to watch on the big screen. What are you doing? I'm making chocolate, of course. How do you like it? Dark, white, nutty, absolutely insane. Moral of the story. Willie carries around a packed piece of chocolate made by his mother in his pocket throughout the film. He believes his mother makes the best chocolate in the world and she tells him that it might be true because she holds a secret to her chocolate that even the best chocolatiers of the world didn't know. She packs a piece of chocolate and writes the word Wonka on it, which Willie takes out of his pocket whenever he remembers his mother. At the end of the film, almost 300 gallons of the chocolate supply of the cartel burst through the fountain, which Willie uses to make his famous chocolate milk and share it with the rest of the townspeople. Amidst all the joy and celebration, Wonka sits down by himself and takes out the chocolate bar left by his late mother. He opens the packaging to notice something written on a golden paper wrapped inside the chocolate. The packaging reads, it is not the chocolate that matters, it is the people you share it with, indicating that was the secret to her great chocolate. Willie takes the candy bar and shares it with his friends before taking the last piece for himself while feeling his mother's presence, just as she promised him. Willie's mother, portrayed by Sally Hawkins,
Hawkins plays a key role in shaping his ideas and dreams. She even tells him that every good thing in this world started with a dream, which instills in his mind strongly and drives him to achieve his dream of sharing his chocolate with the world. Willie realizes that being the best chocolatier in the world would mean nothing if he has no one to share that journey with. Growing up by himself, he finds a family in his fellow workers at the laundromat through his journey. He strives to change their lives for the better and fights to protect them, just like a real family. Willie sharing his mother's chocolate with all of his friends is him realizing this important message, which he cherishes while enjoying the delicious chocolate. A different universe. The events of Wonka take place in a magical setting at an unclear time period. The musical approach of the film and the well accepted existence of magic in this universe give the character a very light hearted characteristic. Wonka uses magical ingredients to make his chocolates, which sometimes have rather unrealistic effects on its customers, like levitating them off the ground. The film maintains this bright tone and cheery spirit and does not take any dark undertones until the very end, when the chocolate cartel tries to blow Willy up on a boat. Noodle gets imprisoned in a tiny cell and Slugworth tries to drown Willy and Noodle in a chocolate tank, but that is as far as the film goes to explore the darker sides of this universe. There is also the role of a corrupt police chief bought out by the chocolate cartel in order to eliminate any competition, brought to life by the immensely talented Keegan-Michael Key. Even this character isn't shown as utterly dangerous as he accepts chocolate provided by the chocolate cartel as a bribe for taking action against Wonka and grows into a whimsically large size by the end of the film as a result of consuming all his bribe. With all its magical elements combined with Willy's childlike innocence, this world of Willy Wonka is definitely crafted to appeal more to the younger audience. Marvelous Verdict Although it's unclear exactly as to whether this is the Willy Wonka that gives Charlie Bucket a tour of his chocolate factory after he wins a golden ticket, it's definitely in the realm of possibility. That's a good 20 years of age gap between Chalamet's Wonka and Wilder's Wonka, which may suggest that Willy might have become reclusive in nature over the years. Working with Oompa Loompas in his newly established chocolate factory, it's also possible that he developed the same sensibilities as his tiny orange assistants, which make him justify punishing kids with his own brand of justice. It's also possible that we might get to see an entirely different story from an older Wonka portrayed by Chalamet. We would definitely like to see Noodle and her mother's relationship after their reconnection or find out what happened with the rest of Willy's friends. It would definitely be a treat to see more Oompa Loompas in action for any upcoming projects in this series. Director Paul King has displayed an interest in pursuing the idea of a sequel, saying that there is a lot more of Willy Wonka's story left that needs to be told. And we couldn't agree more. Guess we'll all have to wait to watch if and how more adventures of Chalamet's Wonka transpire. Until then, keep watching Marvelous videos for more Wonka magic. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks everyone.